What are the top silver stocks to buy in 2020? Silver, gold, and lithium stocks have been on fire. In the last month, these stocks have gained over 100%. If you watch my weekend recap videos, you'll know that I've been buying gold and mining stocks for the last month. In fact, I bought BTG last month and it's already up over 33%. Same goes for Kirkland Lake Gold and Yamana Gold. Both of these stocks are up nicely in my portfolio and reaching new daily highs. But here's the crazy part. Gold, silver, and mining stocks normally run counter to the main market. And these stocks right now are exceptionally strong, even though we're in a strong market. And if you're like me, you're worried that the stock market might correct because let's face it, the U.S. economy sucks right now because of this pandemic. It's not very often that we can make a hedge play like this that has such strong profits. I call this double dipping and I'm loving it. And if you think it's too late to get into these gold and silver stocks because they're reaching new highs, I heard the same noise last month and you can see where I'm at right now. I use fundamental and technical analysis in my investing, and I'm just sharing what I do in my own accounts. There's no bull, BS, or drama, and I hope you appreciate that. In today's video, I'm going to cover these four topics. Number one, the top silver and lithium stocks to watch. Number two, a fundamental analysis on these top precious metal stocks. Number three, my top three long-term picks for these silver and lithium stocks. And number four, my top two growth stocks. Of course, I'm not a financial advisor and these videos are for entertainment purposes only. This next section is going to be fast paced and cover a lot of fundamental analysis data. And if you are new to my channel, you should watch my video, How to Analyze Stocks, which will teach you fundamental analysis in a fast and easy way. The link to that video is in the description below. Let's get familiar with the 10 stocks we're going to cover today. These images are from my free tools at jerryromine.com. If you're looking to research stocks, know when to take profits, know when to take losses, see technical chart analysis, know how much to risk on each trade, see analyst stock ratings, or create a free portfolio that includes a trading plan for each stock, be sure to check out jerryromine.com. The first stock is Pan American Silver, ticker PAAS, and they operate mines in Mexico, Peru, Canada, Argentina, and Bolivia. Pan American Silver sells silver, gold, zinc, lead, and copper. Number two is Wheaton Precious Metals, ticker WPM. They're from Canada and they specialize in silver and gold ore. Number three is Lithium Americas, ticker LAC, and they operate as a resource company in the U.S. and explore for lithium deposits. Lithium stocks are of interest to me since it is a key component for electric batteries. Number four is Fortuna Silver Mines, ticker FSM, and they explore for silver, gold, lead, and zinc deposits in Latin America. Number five is Silver Core Metals, ticker SVM, and they explore for silver, gold, Gold, lead, and zinc metals in China. Number six is Avino Silver and Gold Mines, ticker ASM, and they primarily explore for silver, gold, and copper deposits in Canada. Number seven is Abel Marley Corporation, ticker ALB, and they develop specialty chemicals worldwide. I've included them today because they specialize in lithium products for batteries and electric cars, and they have a very nice low PE ratio. Number eight is First Majestic Silver, ticker AG, and they focus on silver production in Mexico. Number nine is Endeavor Silver, ticker E. XK and they explore for silver and gold deposits as well as precious metals in Mexico and Chile. Number 10 is ProShares Ultra Silver EFT, ticker AGQ, and this is an ETF for silver stocks. This next section is going to be fast paced and cover a lot of fundamental analysis data. And if you are new to my channel, you should watch my video, How to Analyze Stocks, which will teach you fundamental analysis in a fast and easy way. The link to that video is in the description below. Welcome to the Beast Mode Stock Analysis. Today we're going over the top silver and lithium stocks. Across the top, we have the ticker symbols followed by the company name. If it's in red, that means I consider it a growth stock and that means it would have a negative PE ratio or a PE ratio above 100. If it's in yellow, the PE ratio is between one and 100 and I would consider that a good possibility for a long-term stock. First thing we wanna notice is the return over one month. These stocks have averaged a 43% return over a one month time period and are our best one being EXK with a 102% return. Over three months, these stocks have averaged a 100% return, which is crazy. The earnings and growth tells us whether or not a company is making money, and we've got the PE ratios listed. Ideally, I like to have a low PE ratio below 20, although it will vary on the sector. And here we can see some of these PEs are pretty low. We've got Lithium Americas coming in at 11.57. We have ALB coming in at 18.29. And then we have no PE ratio for AGQ, and that's because they're an ETF. And then we have a few negative PE ratios and a few growth stock PE ratios where these companies are making money, but but not a lot yet, and their P-E ratio is still well over 100. 
The beast mode analysis is color-coded and light blue is the most heavily weighted, followed by green and then tan, and there's always a ton of information in here and I encourage you to pause it and go over it line by line. We also have arrows as a cheat sheet, so if it's an up arrow you're looking for a high value and if it's a down arrow you're looking for a low value. Levered free cash flow is important to me because this measures a company's ability to expand its business and pay returns to shareholders using only the money generated through current operations. So the higher the number the better and our strongest company without a doubt is WPM at 62.71%. SVM at 26.41% is coming in strong as well, followed by PAAS at 12.83%. For long-term investors, financials are critical because it tells us whether or not the companies are running on good margins, and we like to see an operating margin above 10%, and the S&P 500 averages 10.8%. So anything above 10% is considered good. Our strongest is SVM at 30.3%. We've got FSM coming in at 15.8%, ALB at 20.9%, and PAAS at 8.9%. The balance sheet tells us whether or not a company is financially stable, and I like to look at the total assets versus total liabilities, or what I call the tattle ratio, because it tattles on the company's overall financial strength. And ideally, I like this number to come in at two or higher. So let's take a look at WPM. We can see that they've got total assets of $6 billion and total liabilities of $839 million, giving them a tattle ratio of 7.2, which just means they have 7.2 times the assets compared to the liabilities. The bigger the number, the better, and some of these companies are exceptionally strong. I mean, two is considered good, and we've got 7.2, 6.9, 6 .9, great stuff here. And my favorite section on the beast mode analysis is the profitability section, and this is critical for long-term investors. Are the companies making money? Let's look at the net income margin. We've got our best one being SVM at 21.58%. We've got 14.5% for ALB, and then we've got 13.88% for WPM. And net income margin is critical. If they've got a high net income margin, it gives me a lot more faith that they're going to be here for the long term. Now we're moving into phase two of the beast mode stock analysis where we get into valuations, price targets, and analyst sentiment. And the first thing I noticed today is the Peter Lynch estimator. I don't get a lot of hits on this one, so when I do, I pay attention to it. And today we're getting a hit for ALB as being undervalued. So that's definitely a plus for ALB. Next, I want to look at the estimated intrinsic value. And whenever possible, I like to buy below that estimated intrinsic value. Today, none of the stocks are below that estimated intrinsic value. For example, we've got PAAS which is currently trading at $37.24 with an estimated intrinsic value of $28.46. Analyst recommendations can be helpful, and we've got buy, hold, and sell recommendations. Most of the time, I want to be on the same side as the analyst. So here we can see we've got ALB is coming in as a leader with four buy recommendations. And then the first three stocks have three buy recommendations each. And we also have a few sell recommendations. And our most heavily recommended stock is ALB with four buys, 12 holds, and three sells. Analyst price targets can help by letting us know the direction the analysts are expecting the stocks to move. Anything in purple means Means that the current stock price is below the analyst estimate. So we've got LAC, which is currently trading at $5.46, and the analyst target mean price, which just means average, is $9.30. We have ASM trading at $1.03, and the analyst target mean price is $1.23. Another thing we can learn by looking at this is if the stock is trading above both the estimated intrinsic value and the analyst target mean price, that's a good indication that the stock may be overvalued. So when we see this, yes, it's quite possible a lot of these stocks are overvalued in the current market. And our last stop today in the beast mode is the Piotrowski score, and this helps us find companies with a healthy liquid balance sheet, profitability, and operating efficiency. And here we're looking for a five or higher on the number. Everybody is coming in pretty strong. We got a few fours, and then we have one EXK that's coming in at a one, so that would be a little bit of a concern and something to check out. And then AGQ, because it's an ETF, we would not be worried about this because ETFs we look at a little differently than we do normal stocks. And I included it in today's analysis because I think AGQ is a great way to own silver stocks, and you'll see that in one of my picks coming up momentarily. If you want a copy of my Beast Mode spreadsheet, it's available on my Patreon page, and there's a special bonus section with valuable information just for Patreons. The cost is only $20 per month, and it's packed with value to help make you a better investor. All right, let's get on with today's picks. We've got some real winners in this bunch. 
My number one pick is Silver Core Metals, ticker SVM, and they've got a three-month return of 109%, a PE ratio of 37, a net income margin of 22%, and they are overall a very strong company, and the analysts currently have them rated as a moderate buy. My number two pick is the ETF AGQ, and they've got a three-month return of 113%, an expense ratio of 0.95%, which is less than 1%, and AGQ is not your typical buy-and-hold ETF. AGQ invests in silver futures and forward contracts, so this means that it's much more designed for a short-term swing trade than it is a long-term buy-and-hold, but it's definitely worth checking out. My number three pick is Fortuna Silver Mines, ticker FSM, and they've got a 100 55% three-month return, a P.E. ratio of 69, a net income margin of 7%. I think they are currently overvalued and they have an impressive chart and I wouldn't recommend buying them right away. I would recommend watching them and waiting for a dip or a better buying opportunity. My next pick, number four, is as a growth stock and this is Pan American Silver, ticker PAAS. Analysts currently have it rated as a moderate buy. They've got a three-month return of 74%, a 190% net profit growth rate, and they've got a nice-looking chart. And my last pick today is another one as a growth stock, and that would be Wheaton Precious Metals, ticker WPM. They're rated as a moderate buy. They've got a P.E. ratio of 186. They've got a great looking chart, and I already am long on Wheaton. They just reached new highs. They have a very impressive levered free cash flow of 62%. They've got a really nice tattle ratio of 7.2, and their net income margin is 14%. For my Patreon subscribers, be sure to check out the Rule of 40 and my LNR indicator. We've got two that really stand out. If you have not already, make sure you sign up for Webull to get a free stock worth up to $1,400. Webull is much more than a free stock trading app. And I have a free tutorial video on Webull that's so good, Webull actually called me after viewing it. Both the promo and Webull tutorial link are in the description below. If you enjoyed today's content, be sure to like this video and also check out my free tools at jerryromine.com. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I'll see you soon on a fresh new video.